Hi guys, and welcome to your resistance training session. So, if you haven't got any dumbbells, do not panic. Grab yourself two bottles of water, and if you don't have those and you're new to exercise, just go through the ranges of motion with me. So, we're gonna be working in 60 second intervals. So if you need to take a break in between that, go for it, press pause, have a breather, and come back in. Otherwise, if you feel you can do a little bit more, you can always pause me, do an extra minute, and then come back to me to do the next exercise. So, you'll have warmed up hopefully, feeling nice and mobile, grab your resistance. I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. Now I'm gonna alternate using the water bottles just so you can kind of see both exercises being used. We're gonna take it to a side lunge. I'm just gonna demonstrate, taking it down, and then I'm gonna come back up to center into an upright row. So are we ready? We've got 60 seconds alternating. Four, three, two, one, go. So, side lunge pull it up and again, other side, pull it up and again. So the lower you go, the harder it's gonna be. Keep the dumbbells nice and close to the body. Keep the torso nice and tall. Take it down, pull it up and again. You'll be feeling this, or I hope you'll be feeling this, in the legs. You'll also be feeling it in the bottom. You may be feeling it in the upper body, so shoulders, upper back. How are we feeling, heart rate going up? Keep it going, pull strong. Do that again. I'll let you know when you're nearly there. I promise we are nearly there. 10 seconds. Remember, keep that quality. Five, four, three, Two, one, Ooh, and relax. Well done, guys. So, the next exercise we're going to do is a single leg row. So, I'm going to show you from the side. I'm going to take the toe behind you and then bring it forward slightly for me. Now, from here, you're going to come into a row and release. So, you've got 30 seconds on this leg. Now remember, if you feel a little bit wobbly, fish off those lunges, you can keep that back toe down. Keep that row going. Let you know when to change. I'm gonna go back to that balance. Woo, we're starting to feel it now. 10 seconds left on this side. Are you ready? Change it up. So changing over, 30 seconds, tipping through, torso strong. Here we go. 30 seconds. Going back into that balance. You need to take a break any time. Have a break or pop the dumbbells down and keep going through that range of motion. So squeeze through those shoulder blades. Keep the neck nice and long, got 10 seconds left. Stay with me on this, so abdominals are in. Keep that balance. How are we doing? Two, one, and have a break. Well done, guys. Let's give that upper body a little bit of a roll because the next exercise, one of my favorites, is called the triple threat. Sounds a bit scary, but we're gonna be toning up the front of your arm, the back of your arm, target area, and also your shoulders. So I'm going to show you with the water bottles, do so you can get a feel that you can alternate your weight to suit the exercise that you're doing. We have 60 seconds, straight through, take the feet hip width, lock in those abs, are we ready? 60 seconds starts now, so bicep, change it, shoulder, bring them together, tricep, bring it back down, start again. So bicep, shoulder, turn, take it behind the head and then bring it back down and release. So front of the arm, shoulders together and take it behind the head, back of the arm and then release it back down. Change it up, perfect. Turn, behind the head, release it down. Keep going for me, one, turn, push, Release, now squeeze and bring it back down. How are we doing? Are we feeling this? I'm definitely feeling it. 
You've got a little bit longer left here. We've got 10 seconds. Do you reckon we can do another one? Bicep, shoulder, turn it, tricep, and release it down. Well done. That was your 60 seconds on triple threat. Feel that one? Give the arms a bit of a break. So pop your weights down or your water bottles down. Give it a little shake. Okay, good news. Legs, get a break. Arms, get a break. Moving on to torso. So I need you to lay yourself down. We only need one dumbbell for this, or one water bottle. I'm just gonna pop one out of the way. I'd like you to lay onto your back with your knees bent. We're gonna be taking the dumbbell overhead as we take it over. Squeeze up to over the chest, and then give me a curl, and then release. 60 seconds, ready? Here we go. Over, pull, push and then release, do it again. So you're gonna breathe out now. Push, and release. Over, pull, push. Okay, good guys, so the movement I'm about to do now, this one, is also working into our back muscles. You might feel it a little bit in the chest. Push, and again. Pull it. Still working those 60 seconds. Ooh. Anytime you need a break, if you feel it in your neck and shoulders, have a break, because we want to feel it in the abdominal area. So let the neck have a rest. Come back in with those abs. We've got 10 seconds. How many can you squeeze in? Keep going for me. Five, four, three, two, one. Have a break, well done. Okay, your next exercise, I'm going to take two dumbbells for this one. So just go back to grabbing your other one. Now I'm going to show you this option, and it's with a single leg. If you've been doing a lot of abdominal work and you want to advance it up, you can do both legs at the same time. So just bear that in mind and demonstrate this one. Dumbbells going up. Legs are going to go up straight. Single leg option. Down and lift. Double leg option. Down and lift. Okay, you choose. We've got 60 seconds. Are we ready? I think we're ready. And go. Take it down, lift it up. So you're trying to keep your abdominals nice and strong. Try and avoid arching the back as you lower the leg. If you want to make it a little bit harder, the leg isn't going to touch the floor. Remember to breathe. You will also be feeling this in the chest. How are we doing? Are we okay? If you want to take it down a little bit, you can go into a toe tap. That is the option if you want to, or you can lower the weights. Coming back to straight leg with you. Starting to feel it about <laughs> We're nearly there. Two, one. Ooh, that was a tough one. Okay, well, one more exercise for you. Take it back to one dumbbell. So, this one is going to be very much focusing on the waist area. You're going to be picking up the dumbbell from the floor. So, I'm just going to demonstrate one. The dumbbell is going to go onto the side. So, start from neutral, roll over, pick it up, take it back, and release. We've got 30 seconds each side. If you want to, you can keep switching. It's completely up to you. So I'm going to do one my first of all. Ready? So 30 seconds starts now. I'm going to roll over, grab, bring it back. Control the way back, pop it down, lift. And again, grab it, back, release. And again, pull. Now it doesn't feel, or it doesn't look like much, but I promise you, you will feel this in your abdominals. So relax it there, I felt it all down the side of my torso. Let's switch it over to the other side. So placing it down, bring it back. So again, torso nice and long. Pull it, lift, lower, Now I may not be looking 
keeping it in the camera, keep going guys. But I hope you're still doing these 30 seconds. So keep the neck nice and relaxed. I'm coming back in with you. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, well done guys. So, well done. You've just completed your resistance section.